Under the Domestic Violence Act of 2007, a domestic violence fund was instituted with the aim of supporting victims. A sum of 50,000 Ghana cities was deposited in the fund 12 years ago. But since then, efforts by civil society to get governments over the years to put more resources into the fund have proven futile. The Widows and Orphans Movement, a non-governmental organization based in the Upper East region and working to support widows and other underprivileged women, has therefore decided to take an initiative to start a regional support fund for victims of abuse. Fati Abigail Abdullahi is executive director of the Widows and Orphans Movement. The Widows and Orphans Movement, um, as a member of the Women's Rights Network in Ghana, um, together with other organizations, have been calling on government to fund the domestic violence um, fund. And so even as we continue to hold the state accountable to ensure that they are performing this mandate, um, the Upper East region, reflecting on the poverty rate here, which has translated in high cases of domestic violence, um, thought is wise that we start the fund here. She said the fund will only cater for the medical bills of victims and they will have to go through due processes to prove that they actually suffered abuse before they can be supported. An initial amount has been deposited in the fund and individuals or organizations willing to support can donate to the fund. So the fund is going to be managed by SHRAJ, Department of Gender and the Widows and Orphans Movement. These are the three signatories to the account. Um, we have established the, the accounts to which people can donate um, at Fidelity Bank. We equally have a voter cash number where people can donate to. And so we are not being too ambitious to operationalize the regional fund to do what the national fund is supposed to do but we are focusing on just medical care for survivors of um, violence and so we are equally making it simple for people to assess it um, we are using the existing protocols which is the case files of social welfare and the um, form 20 from the uh, legislative instrument of the domestic violence um, ally to operationalize the fund. So survivors can either go to um, social welfare or domestic violence um, unit to report the cases. Um, they will do the assessment and if these people do need help, that is they, they are poor, they end below the minimum wage and they are survivors of violence, then um, the committee comes in to assess the funds um, for them. Upper East Regional Director for the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Abdullah Jaladin, said the Regional Support Fund for Victims of Abuse will help the poor to get justice any time they suffer abuse. Coming to charge, you don't have to pay anything. Our services are free. But when you go to Dosu and you have to go to the hospital, the medical, the medical uh, report, you need to pay for it. And these people don't have money to to, to, to pay for it and that is where they have difficulty. Sometimes people go to the police station, once they give them medical forms and as they step out of the police station, instead of going to hospital, they are going home and they don't even come back. So we don't want a situation where people are abused, they are traumatized and yet they can't get justice. And how will they get justice if the medical forms is not endorsed? So we want to come in and facilitate for the medical forms to be endorsed. And if there are financial implications, you fall onto the fund and pay for it for them to get their medical report. Upper East Regional Minister Stephen Yakubu commended the Widows and Orphans Movement and their partners for the initiative and promised government support to help the fund grow. The Regional Minister also made a personal donation of 1,000 Ghana cities to the fund through the DCE for Bolgatanga East. David Amwa, who represented him at the launch of the fund. For Joy News, Albert Sorry, Bolgatanga.